day, ladies and gentlemen, little sisters and brothers. Remember about three years ago when we read Uncle Isaiah chapter 24, verse 4 through 6 in the Septuagint? You know, quote, The earth mourns and the world is ruined. The lofty ones of the earth are mourning. And she has sinned by reason of her inhabitants because they have transgressed the law and changed the ordinances even the everlasting covenant. Therefore a curse shall consume the earth, because the inhabitants thereof have sinned. And I warned you then not to listen to the watchman's chick's understanding of earthly laws and ordinances. But instead, perceive this as talking about quantum physics and changing the earth's delicate balances. You remember, it was the video where we discovered how a colored, yeah, a colored professor, if you can ever think of that, found a way to send information back in time. Right. I told you they were going to use that information to ask where the Ark of the Covenant was located. And from all of my troubles, each and every one of you said, you just jealous. May a thousand camels crap in your path, scribe. But because I love it when you guys give me a taste of my own medicine, I try it again. Don't act. You remember about three years ago when we read Psalms chapter 2, verse 1 through 4 in the Septuagint. You know, quote, Wherefore did the heathen rage and the nations imagine vain things? The kings of the earth stood up and the rulers gathered themselves together against the Lord and against his Christ, saying, Let us break through their bonds and cast away their yoke from us. He that dwells in the heavens shall laugh them to scorn, and the Lord shall mock them. And I told you then, not to listen to the watchman's chick's understanding of this prophecy of human rebellion upon the earth. But instead, perceive this was talking about the Raphaim preparing for war by engulfing the earth in an electromagnetic cloud. Why? Because it gives them the ability to speed up and slow down the earth. And we back that understanding up with our quantum computer D-Wave effect video that showed how the Bible, etc., has changed before our very eyes. After giving you all I got, each and every one of you said, you may love your life, but it just wants to be friends, scribe. But because I know there's a thin line between love and hate, I tried yet again. That's right. I know you remember our recent Psalms 83 understanding. I told you then, because this was for all the marbles, instead of regional correction, they were going to flip the entire earth. You know, when I told you about how the colored found the universe correcting codes in Einstein's theory, you remember when I gave the example of the long rope to the moon and how if you took a picture of the entire universe at the same time, the picture closest to the middle of the rope would bend backwards and forward, thus giving you a peek into the past and future. And all of you with one voice and with one accord said, please tell us your train of thought has a caboose scribe. But because I know there's a fine line between pleasure and pain, I tried yet again with a video transcript of, of the head man at CERN telling us how it was their intentions to find different dimensions and realities. And I told you then my God was going to give them a delusion when they search for an alternate reality that shows them winning their endeavor. Why would he do such a thing, you ponder? So they would foolishly cement our current reality 
with the alternate reality. And you said very ugly things to me that finally hurt my feelings. And little Miss Ivy vowed that you would rue the day. You made me cry. Well, today is a good day to rue. Check this out. Oh yeah, remember me telling you how they are seeding your minds with this sudden rash of superhero movies? I can't hear your answer because this is a video. But if you remember me saying that, according to physics.org under Scientists Build a Machine to Generate Quantum Superposition of Possible Futures, April 9th, 2019. Cutting to chases and letting the beat rock. Quote, in the 2018 movie Avengers Infinity War, a scene featured Doctor Strange looking into 14 million possible futures to search for a single timeline in which the heroes would be victorious. Perhaps he would have had an easier time with help from a quantum computer. A team of researchers from Nanyang Technological University, Singapore, and Griffith, Griffith University in Australia have constructed a prototype quantum device that can generate all possible futures in a simultaneous quantum superposition. What he and his research group realized, however, was that a quantum computer can examine all possible futures by placing them in a quantum superposition, similar to Schrodinger's famous cat, which is simultaneously alive and dead. The machine has already demonstrated one application, measuring how much our bias towards a specific choice in the present impacts the future. Listen closely. Personal quote, our approach is to synthesize a quantum superposition of all possible futures for each bias, each possible situation. By interfering these superpositions with each other, we can completely avoid looking at each possible future individually, explains Furzad Gonzari, a member of the experimental team. The team notes while their present prototype simulates at most 16 futures, futures simultaneously, the, listen up, the underlying quantum algorithm can in principle scale without bond. Example, bingo! But wait! Allow me to ask you a question, gentle strangers. Have you ever heard the conspiracy saying order out of chaos? Well, according to Discover, under scientists used IBM's quantum computer to reverse time, possibly breaking a law of physics. March 13th, 2019. Listen closely. Quote, the universe is getting messy like a glass shattering to pieces or a single wave crashing onto the shore. The universe's messiness can only move in one direction, towards more chaos and disorder. But scientists think that, at least for a single electron or the simplest quantum computer, they may be able to turn back time and restore order to chaos. This doesn't mean we'll be visiting with dinosaurs on Napoleon anytime soon, but for physicists, the idea that time can run backward at all is still a pretty big deal. Normally, the universe's trend towards disorder is a fundamental law, the second law of thermodynamics. It says more formally that any system can only move from more to less order, and that the chaos or disorder of a system, its entropy can never decrease. But an international team of scientists led by researchers 
at the Moscow Institute of Physics and Technology think they may have discovered a loophole. Computing power! Listen to how easy this was with the right perception from their ghost in the machine friends. Quote, for their experiment, the scientists used IBM's simple, let me say it again. For their experiment, the scientists used IBM's simple public quantum computer program, which uses two qubits with a Q, two units that, like a regular computer bit, can be one or a zero. But unlike regular computer bits, Qubits, with a Q, can also take a form called superposition, where they are both 1 and 0 at the same time. In this way, they follow the laws of quantum mechanics, which are less clear-cut than the classical worlds humans inhabit. The scientists set up the computer so that both qubits, with a Q, are zeros. The scientists then ran a different program which tells the computer to run backward. They ran the first program again and were able to recover their original 00, zero state about 85% of the time. About 85% of the time. About 85% of the time. They published their results March 13th in Scientific's report. The tricky part of the program is telling the computer to run backwards, effectively making time run backwards. Example, now, I'm not a quantum physicist, nor have I played one on TV, but I don't think I need to be one to realize they just did, but I don't think I need to be one to realize what they just did in theory, for all technology we see before our eyes today is predicated upon a successful theory. Seeing how easily they did this with the simplest equipment, their knowledge of speeding up and slowing down the earth, their knowledge of CERN, their desire to accomplish their Psalms 83 pledge, and the most damning evidence of all, after 200 plus years, the white man wants to, you to perceive he will finally do right by the colors? Man, I feel quite safe in telling you to buckle up, buttercups, and endure.